Hello everyone, I'm Greg Weaver. Welcome to The Audio Analyst. If you've followed my show reporting over the decades, you likely have come to realize that certain companies or groups of audio companies that routinely partner with each other invariably produce exceptional sonic results time and again on the audio show circuit. This is usually a result of several factors, including but not limited to their familiarity with the room they have chosen to use, their level of skill at room setup, and believe me when I tell you that not everyone in this industry is equally accomplished in this regard, and the innate synergy of the equipment, components, cables, and room treatment, if there is any applied, that they are installing and dialing in. Today, I'm both honored and very pleased to introduce you to a friend and colleague, Doug White, the owner of The Voice That Is, located in Broomall, Pennsylvania, located in the western suburbs of Philadelphia. Doug is not only one of the most knowledgeable, sincere, and engaging gentlemen in our industry, but... <laughs> He is one of those guys who never fails to achieve an amazing sonic result with his room setup at every show. He represents many fine audio lines, including turntables from Acoustical Systems, Doman, Primary Control, Reed, and Vertera, Phono Stages from Vanden Hall and Vertera, Tone Arms from Acoustical Systems, Graham Engineering, Kuzma, Primary Control, Reed, and Thales, and cartridges from Acoustical Systems, Airtight, EMT, Quetsu, Lyra, Exquisite, and others. Moving to digital sources, he represents Bricasti, Grimm, Ideon, my current reference digital suite, Inuos, Metronome, Tidal, and Tyco. Electronics choices come from Tidal Audio, Bricasti, Vinny Rossi, and others, with cables from Siltec and Tidal Audio and power treatment systems from Equitech, Oyeide, and Ferrotech. Speaker choices include Tidal Audio, Rel Acoustics, and Vimberg, while stands and accessories are available from Critical Mass Systems, which are very prevalent here in my home, HRS, ICTRA Designs, and Symbol, as well as others including companies like Silent Angel, Audiodesk, Levin, and Stillpoints. One of the mission statements you'll find when you visit his website to which a link is provided in today's description section, is your system should be emotionally involving. Listen to a reproduction so natural that you forget specs and are encompassed by music. Isn't that what it's all about? Doug's work with his customers and at shows epitomizes that statement. Now, here's Doug describing his minimalist yet simply exquisite sounding system as presented in the Wilson Room at the Twin Brook Hilton in Rockville, Maryland, at the 12th Capital Audio Fest, including two short takes of music as rendered by that system. Stay tuned afterward, as I'm going to take you just a bit deeper into the remarkable degree of performance this smartly designed and executed, remarkably convenient system delivered. Here we go. Hi, my name is Doug White. I'm the owner of The Voice That Is out of Pennsylvania, and I welcome you to my room at Capital Audio Fest 2023. We are fortunate enough to be able to have the North American debut of the Tidal Contriva G3 speaker. This is an all new design from Tidal Audio in Germany. This is the standard black gloss finish of the Contriva. We have an all new floating diamond tweeter, all new drivers front, cabinets completely redesigned, crossover is also completely redesigned to accommodate the proprietary drivers that Tidal makes. We're using um, 25 years of experience to build this evolutionary product to the point that it is about 25% better than the previous generation. Some people say 25% better. Why would you want to go there and say that? Because the previous generation was very good. That's how new this product is. Okay. We're doing 
our show here today using the Tidal Contros digital controller. It is a preamplifier, streamer, DAC in all one unit. It is a trickle-down technology from the Tidal for Bugatti product that uh, we won't go into discussion in this particular um, talk. However, everything that was, uh, let's just say, learned from 25 years of being in business building excellent reference products has been taken to the next level. All of the technology developed from the Title IV Bugatti speaker has been trickled down into the Contros digital controller. Also, from an electronic standpoint, we're using the Title Intra amplifier, stereo amplifier. That amplifier is also trickled down technology from the Title IV Bugatti product. So when you're really looking at uh, Title products, historically speaking, the company doesn't make price point products. What they do is they design it, they take it to the nth degree, and then they pass that technology down throughout their entire line. So what we're looking at here is basically Title's version of the MC1 controller, and then the amplification of the, um, the Royale speaker that has built-in amplifiers. What I can tell you is this system at $179,000 retail gives you a good sampling of what is possible in a very, very high quality, transparent system without having to have a lot of components in your environment. With a lot of people downsizing, this is amazing. If you can look at this, this, this rack, which is an extra design proto rack out of Germany, is only about two feet high. And I'm able to have both components and the Equitec 2RQ, which is something that I've used at these shows time and time again to deal with power issues that come up in these kind of environments. Equitec as a company has been around for decades. A lot of people don't know about it, but I do. You ought to check that out. Um, also in this system, we're using computer audio designs ground controls for the digital um, portion of our system here. What it does for me is allow me, allow me to get rid of the noise that is inherent in digital products. It's a fine product that has proven to be one of those things you put into your system and you really don't notice that it's doing anything until you take it out. Okay? Just to step back over here, I don't want to forget the fact that I am using Silent Angel's Bond NX switch and their clock, their mate clock to that. Um, basically, that's for my networking here. That is going from my router to it and from there to my streamer. Um, one last thing I really want to talk to you about is just to kind of let you know what you're getting with the Contrast. I kind of neglected to, to talk to you about this. The Contrast, as I said, is a digital controller, but what I didn't tell you is that it is a preamplifier, it is a DAC and streamer, all in one unit. So you literally, Ethernet cable, power cord, a pair of XLRs out to your amplifier, and away you go through your speaker cables into your system. And that's what makes this so beautiful. You're looking at something that can be um, an easy way for you to go from your big 6,500 square foot home and have your dedicated space and you're downsizing. You can actually put this, have a really, really high quality reference system in your home without having the 100 pound boxes to manipulate and draw power in your system. Yet you're not sacrificing any quality whatsoever with regards to transparency and the ability to listen to great music. Last but certainly not least, I wanted to uh, give you the opportunity to know what cabling I'm using in this system. I'm happy to be able to share with you at the show the Siltec Cables Ruby Crown Cables. This is the first North American showing of this product as well. I'm, I'm pretty lucky that way. So we have their speaker cables, their power cords throughout the system, and their XLRs that are helping me make wonderful music here for all of the attendees. I hope you had an opportunity to stop and see what I had to do. If you have any questions, please look for me on my website, Doug White at the Voice It Is.
www.thevoiceitis.com. Feel free to reach out to me at the links below in Greg's description. I'll be happy to help you the best way I can. Thank you very much for your time listening to me go on about the system. Now that you know all about it, let's listen a little bit. Thank you. My sincerest thanks to Doug for making time to host me after hours so that we could make this episode without interrupting his presentation time at the show. Further, I want to thank him for taking the time 
expense, and effort to organize and exhibit such engaging musical presentations for showgoers and jaded old audio journalists alike. It is always a beautifully musical oasis to walk into the voice that is room at any show during the annual cycle. But this system is, in essence, a brilliantly executed, synergistically scaled down version of the remarkable Tidal for Bugatti Royale system first heard during its introduction in Munich last May. We start with the Tidal Audio Contros Digital Controller, the first Tidal product to directly benefit as an inspired trickle-down spin-off controller from the ultra-exclusive Tidal for Bugatti project and its MC1 controller. It combines core technologies from the Chimera Digital Music Converter, their flagship DAC, their Arcus flagship file transport system, and the Prisma, their flagship line stage, all beautifully contained in one incomparable cabinet. Plug it in, hook up an Ethernet cable, and connect it to a power amp, and it's ready to give you Tidal referenceable performance. It offers native support for Tidal or Cobuzz music streaming, MQA, Apple AirPlay, TuneIn Internet Radio, and Spotify Connect using its local area network Ethernet connection, and includes internal USB accessed hard drive storage. It has coaxial RCA, AES XLR, and optical inputs, and uses a proprietary Tidal Link input interface. At just 36 pounds, 17.3 inches wide, 5.1 inches tall, and 15.3 inches deep, it supports virtually every PCM or DSD file or streaming format. That brings us to the Tidal Audio Intra Stereo Amplifier. This amplifier is a game changer for Tidal as it allows them to offer previously unrealized reference level sound quality in an amplifier the size and weight of a preamplifier or DAC. One of the main solutions necessary to realize the amplification module for the Tidal for Bugatti Royale project involved analyzing and overcoming the perceived limitations that led people to identify Class D amplifiers' performance to be of a lesser quality than other, more traditional classes of amplification. Once they had accomplished that, it was merely a matter of implementing that in a scaled-down version for the intra. The result is a dual stereo power amplifier with four amplification channels that may be applied in three different modes. Using a fully discrete front-end Class A amplifier with Class D output stages, the interest primary mode is of the typical high-end stereo configuration, with each power supply powering one channel only, resulting in 340 watts per channel at 8 ohms or 670 watts per channel at 4 ohms. But two other additional methods will allow for special applications like active or passive biamping. Very cool. And this is all accomplished in a chassis matching the Contros digital controller's dimensions and weighing just 27 pounds. The loudspeakers are the newly introduced Tidal Audio Contriva G3, the third generation of Contriva. It is a dynamic three-way loudspeaker in a multi-chamber enclosure fabricated from Tidal's proprietary Tyrolit cabinet material is finished in either hand-selected veneers at slightly greater cost, or in Tidal's original transparent midnight black piano lacquer, and stands on massive stainless steel footers using a unique isolation concept. It features their exclusive third-generation 1.1-inch diamond tweeter, a fourth-generation 6.8-inch black ceramic mid-range, and a pair of exclusive 8.7-inch carbon fiber aluminum woofers all of which employ neodymium underhung motors. Their Uno Pulse dividing network features only the lowest tolerance components, all microphonically and hermetically isolated in separate chambers. The resultant beautiful looking and sounding loudspeaker stands just over four and a half feet tall by 10 and three quarter inches wide and some foot and a half deep, weighing in at just over 250 pounds each rounding out one rather elegant-looking and supremely engaging-sounding system. As Doug mentioned in his conversation, this system is just under $180,000 for the Tidal audio components, and all details on the pricing are available in today's description section. 
But if you couldn't tell from the music tracks I shared, it should come as no surprise that Germany's Tidal Electronics and loudspeakers are exceptionally refined with detailed, resolute voices and which consistently retain their remarkable musical lucidity. My listening there revealed the system's breathtaking microdynamic expressiveness, recreating tremendous delicacy and intimate detail with every track offered. Instruments were conveyed with vivid color, convincingly corporal texture, and remarkably solid body and bloom, generating a wonderful sense of instrumental weight. It offered a realistically sized, remarkably open soundstage, providing solid, stable, and accurate imaging. Everything was well-balanced, octave to octave, nicely fleshed out and live-sounding, yet utterly natural in doing so. Upper frequency range was exquisitely detailed and extended, allowing for an incredibly authentic expression of air and shimmer. As mentioned, tonal balance was remarkably smooth octave to octave and coherent, rendering exceptionally fine texture and a fleshed out sense of the entire musical envelope, all emerging from a starkly quiet, remarkably dark, virtually noiseless background. The result was a musical presentation, very alive sounding, one that was almost dripping with immediacy and palpability. This was clearly a very accomplished system. Thanks again, Doug. As always, thanks for taking the time to drop by today. Further information on supporting the channel may be found in today's description section or at my website, theaudioanalyst.com. Please stay safe and keep the music playing. Till next time, cheers.